us a call for war. The new Godzilla Kong trailer has given us a better look at the big bad of the film, the Scar King. This ancient great ape is said to be the most intelligent, cunning, and evil titan the MonsterVerse has ever seen. The trailer sets the stage for Scar by showing him immediately disarm and overpower Kong, which demonstrates that he will be incredibly physically capable at fighting opposing Alpha Titans. His legend has passed down for millennia. He's seen the rise and fall of great civilizations and empires, and has seen the Titan War that nearly wiped out both Kongs and Godzilla's species. There are even whispers that the Scar King was the one that started it. But it's not just his strength he can use to his advantage, but also his wit. By manipulating those around him, he's able to stay in charge with the threat of unimaginable horrors that await you if you disobey his orders. With this, he's able to enslave a civilization of Titanus Kong, with some that are subservient and some that actively support him. With this, he forms an entire city that he uses to do his bidding. If you want to learn more about what Scar King is doing with the enslaved Kongs, then check out the companion video on what he was doing before Godzilla vs Kong. But in short, he is most likely using the Kongs to mine for resources, and those that end up in his good books get higher ranks and rewards, which we see in the trailer with some bowing and some banging the war drums, implying that there is a hierarchy. In nature, depending on their size and personalities, other great apes like chimpanzees either use brute force or build coalitions to get ahead. The top dogs of some species, such as spotted hyenas, are determined by sex or lineage, much as rulers ascend in a monarchy. So it's easy to imagine a primate titan society following and serving the most dominant. And at the top of the chain is Scar. But if you look closely, he has a small group of Kongs that he sticks close to. These could easily be looked at as his bodyguards, but the alliance is far deeper than that. We have reason to believe that these are the Scar King's team of Apex Titan Killers, his right-hand men that he uses to help keep the apes in line. Similar to the Hand of Atriox from Halo Infinite, where the banished leader had a selection of warrior brutes and elites that served their leader, these are the ones that Scar called his closest allies, the ones he trusts the most, and the one that would follow him into battle. So for that reason, let's call this the Hand of Scar. Trained to hunt and kill the largest of titans, they look down upon the rest as they stand side by side with the king who sits from his golden throne. They would be in charge of watching over the compound, keeping order but ruling with an iron fist, controlling resources such as food, stemming disputes, and also maintaining a pecking order that determines who gets to mate with whom, keeping the population in check. Scar likely showers these titans with riches and luxury, large homes stocked with food, water, and wine. They'd be treated like royalty, like no other great ape under his rule. This isn't unheard of in nature, like in large hyena groups where royals at the top get access to more food and resources. Other apes would catch wind of this and would aspire to become like them, staying in line and ensuring that the rest know their place. For Scar, this is the perfect system, but one that's built on mass oppression and slavery, something that's actually reflected in some of what we see in humanity. Considering the director stated that the Scar King represents the very worst of humanity, it's very easy to draw the connections. So at the top of the chain alongside Scar, the units would be incredibly important for keeping the peace through means of fear. They are larger and stronger than the rest, which would be necessary as his personal body guards in case someone like Kong came along. We don't have names for the individual members of the Hand of Scar, but we can be sure they are integral to the plot, as we see them several times throughout the trailer. We even spot one of them attempting to capture Suko, which is, from what we know, Scar's half-breed son that escaped captivity. Scar trusted one of them enough to leave the compound and bring his son home to him, not out of love, but to keep him working. 
When a Kong steps out of line, whether that be they stop working or they try to start an uprising, they would be beaten by the three of them, humiliated, and in extreme cases, executed. Just as what we saw in the New Empire's trailer, they can be thrown into the pit and fed to the Frost Titan, Shimo, which would be used as a tactic to silence any potential revolutions. And in our video on what the Scar King's plans are, we discuss the possibility of Scar using spies to scope out any potential opponents and to keep a close watch on the Hollow Earth and even the surface. That task may be relegated to one of the members of the special unit and any information would be returned and relayed to the King, as it's from a member that Scar can truly trust. In regards to their place in the film, they will likely come to Scar's defense if his life was threatened so we may see them grouped together to take down the King of the Monsters and King Kong. They would be well-trained in order to properly support the Scar King in combat. The group of them would be an incredibly formidable opponent for even both Godzilla and Kong, as they fight for their lives alongside their leader. But in the end, we may see them slaughtered in battle, and in the process, those of Kong's species under their oppressive regime are in turn freed, leaving Kong as their new champion and ruler to lead them and guide them towards a brighter future without the hand of Scar. So whilst we don't see much of them in the trailer, what we can gather is that this group could become very important to the story, acting as spies, enforcement, overseers, bodyguards, assistants, and also friends to the Scar King trusted allies that support and would die for their master. But in the end, there'll be no match for our Apex Titans. What do you think about the idea of Scar having a team of close allies? Do you think they're making the Titans too smart, or do you like the idea of intelligent Titan groups? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this Titan theory, then be sure to give this video a big Kong-sized thumbs up. We've got a lot of Godzilla Kong tent coming, so be sure to subscribe and stomp the notification button to become a resident of Dangerville today, to not miss out on all that new Empire news. I've been Alistair, and we'll see you, residents in the next one.